Charles McPherson. So how did you make the leap from doing local gigs to starting to record and travel and all that stuff? Well, I found out that Mingus was in need, Charlie Mingus, great bass player, was in need of a saxophone player, alto player. So uh, my friend, a little trumpet player named Lonnie, we uh, made it into Mingus's band. He heard us at an afternoon jam session, and he hired us. I got a chance to know a little bit about him. As con confrontational and volatile as he was, he had basically a good heart. And I found this out because one afternoon we did a benefit for a friend of his who was very sick. At the end of the benefit, Minga started handing out $5 to people in the band. And everybody in the band took the money. And when he got to me, it was just $5. And I just looked at it and said, well, Mingus, what is $5? How is this going to change my life? Just give it to him, put it in the tip jar, and give it to him because he's sick and he needs it. And so I'm about 21, and when I did that, I, he looked at me, established eye contact, and I saw his eyes well up with tears. And he just looked at me, and he said, thanks, Charles. And he just put the money in the jar. And from that moment on, he never bothered me. Once he had you pigeonholed, that's what you were. So he had me in this box, nice guy. Thank you, Charles McPherson. 